There are over 1,000 disused coal mines around the UK. Although mining has finished, many of these abandoned mines are still actively producing a dangerous and explosive gas, methane. It is estimated that every year up to 600,000 tonnes of this damaging greenhouse gas escapes into the atmosphere from these disused pits, either through vents or haphazardly from uncontrolled locations. Although you can scarcely see it, methane is a virulent greenhouse gas polluting the atmosphere. In terms of global warming, methane is 23 times more harmful than carbon dioxide. Capturing coal mine methane emissions of gas from these government-owned sources could help the UK meet its commitments to reducing global warming under the Kyoto Protocol. There are also important safety issues. The Derbyshire village of Arkwright had to be evacuated and the houses demolished because uncontrollable methane emissions from an abandoned coal mine made it unsafe to live there. But if the gas is captured and harnessed, not only can its harmful effect as a greenhouse gas be totally eliminated, the methane can also be a valuable energy source, helping the UK to be less dependent on imported energy sources. Technology developed in the UK is able to capture and convert coal mine methane, or CMM as it's known, from a hazard into a resource. A new technology-based industry has developed here in the UK to capture and generate electricity from this previously untapped resource. Since 1996, when the DTI awarded the first licenses to capture the methane, technology for its safe and efficient capture and use has been developed and seven plants have been built in the UK. But unlike other green energy technologies, this industry is still awaiting financial support from the government. As a consequence of this, and in today's fiercely competitive energy market, some CMM operators have gone bankrupt, while the others have ceased developments in the UK. This stands in sharp contrast to what is happening in Germany, where similar CMM problems exist. In this area we have uh, problems with gas coming from the ground and uh, some homes must be prevented against this uh, gas. This is uh, a point where gas comes out from the ground. It was detected on a place where children play. The solution was to drill a borehole into the old mine workings and pump the methane out into a 350 kilowatt containerized electricity generation plant. Ja, natürlich sind die Leute belästigt, fühlten sie belästigt erstmal und hatten sie auch Angst gehabt, dass die Kinder vielleicht irgendwie krank werden oder sowas. Jetzt hat man ja hier eine Lösung gemacht, wo man das Gas nutzt. Dass dem Gas auch Geld gemacht wurde, ne? dass das Gas genutzt wird jetzt, das ist das Gute an der Sache. Ja, auf jeden Fall. Ich denke mir, das hat Sinn und vor allen Dingen ist es auch ganz günstig. Also Sie haben auch kein Problem mit der Anlage, die jetzt nein, hier also sie stört hier überhaupt nicht, nein, gar nichts. Kein Gartengelände nein, steht, nein. Und dass wir saubere Luft haben. Schemes like these have been made possible by the inclusion of coal mine methane in the German Renewable Energy Law, the EEG, which gives a guaranteed premium price for electricity generated from green sources. The benefits from this solution to the CMM problem are twofold. Uh, the first one is uh, you get more safety and the second one uh, you use it in an energetical way and so uh, uh, protect the climate. Inclusion in the EEG has led to a dynamic growth in coal mine methane capture. Up to now we have about 90 facilities installed and with a uh, capacity of 120 megawatts. There is still some more uh, facilities will be installed. Um, I think at the end of uh, this year, at the end of next year, we have a saving of uh, 3.6 million tons of CO2. In the UK, government support for this industry has been hindered by the question of whether or not CMM is a renewable source. The Germans have come to a simple conclusion to this question. It's not a real renewable energy source. What does the EEG want? It wants to protect the uh, environment with saving the emission of methane, CMM. You get a very good result in reaching the aim of the EEG. In addition to the environmental and safety benefits, the German government realizes the export potential of this industry. 
the large markets are outside of Germany are in China and are in Russia, in Ukraine. And so we are supporting that uh, to, to help the companies to export their products. And the legacy of coal mining continues. Uh, this technology of uh, coal mine methane gives a chance to have a new technology and it's like a second use of coal. Meanwhile, back in the UK in Barnsley, a borehole is being drilled to try and prevent more local houses being blighted by coal mine methane emissions. When all the pits were dramatically closed, then the methane started to come up more and more in this area. I mean, you look at all the number of pits in Barnsley, I mean, under this area, there are probably 15 mines that's mined under this area alone, um, which must all be venting gas. It's two properties, as you will have noticed, have already been demolished because of this problem. And there are further, maybe 15 or 16, probably empty because of this. The same problem as in Germany, but a very different solution. Whereas in Germany the gas is used as a green energy source, eliminating its global warming impact, here in Barnsley, as at other locations in the UK, the methane will be vented to the atmosphere. This is both a waste of valuable resource and potentially dangerous. The UK government has stated its support for the CMM capture industry. We've made some progress on getting the, the recognition for the industry, which I clearly believe it should have uh, on environmental grounds. As far as I'm concerned, this is an industry with a big future. So, as the UK government in principle supports the capture and use of CMM, what needs to be done? The CMM industry in the UK has been trying to educate the government about this problem for the past eight years and asking for inclusion in the renewables obligation for the past five years. The UK's renewable obligation is the equivalent of the German EEG and it gives a premium pricing system for green energy. Methane extracted from landfill and sewage sites for electricity generation has already been included. So logically, the chemically identical methane from abandoned coal mines should be included too. Would including CMM in the renewables obligation have a big impact? Yes. Health and safety in coalfield communities would be improved, government-owned greenhouse gas emissions would be stopped, a secure local energy resource would be created, and private inward investment would be raised for a new green technology industry. The opportunity exists for a simple solution to the UK's coal mine methane emissions problem through inclusion in the renewables obligation. The German government has made an equivalent move. And here in the UK, we already have methane from landfill and sewage sites in the renewables obligation. There is an energetic young industry here in the UK with private finance, ready to get on with the task. Now it's up to the UK government to treat coal mine methane capture in the same way it treats other green energy sources.